getting in. I'm always trying to record, man. What's up guys? So we are at one of our listings, it's about to hit the market. It's in a community called Annapolis Preserve. Um, it's a it's a crazy it's a sick listing. I'm just gonna call it what it is. It's gonna hit the market here tomorrow, actually. So by the time you see this, it's probably gonna be under contract. But anyway, you know, today has been a busy non-stop day. I mean, we had meetings all morning. We, we did our rookie meeting today, which I'm gonna be honest with you, it's not even a rookie meeting. We call it a rookie meeting, but to me, it's like an all intensive gut puncher, take yourself and your business to the next level meeting. Um, but it leads me to think about a conversation I had this morning with my coach. It was all about systems, um, conversations with the team, all about systems. Systems are really what's helping us take our business and really has, has helped us take our business to the next level. Did you know that we just closed our 150th transaction? I want you to think about that. That's for the year of 2020. During an, a, a global epidemic, we closed our 150th transaction. First year as a team, we closed our 150th transaction. I mean, that is absolutely huge. So we're going, our goal this year is 200. We're not gonna stop, but it's our systems that allow us to do these things. So when you're thinking about, you know, as a real estate agent, what do you need to do in order to be successful and take your business to a different level and really serve your clients? What do your systems look like? And we'll talk more about it, but what do your systems look like? When you get a new client, what's the first, second, third, 15th thing you do? This is important. The other side of it is as a, as a buyer or a seller, does your real estate agent have a plan for everything that does, could, might, and should happen? Really, do they have the connections for people that you need to work with? Systems. That, that's what this is about today. It's all about systems. Today, one of our systems is we get a new listing, we shoot a dope video, let's do it. So guys, we're excited. It's another beautiful house that is now hitting the market. It's 2024 Haverford Drive in an amazing community called Annapolis Preserve. This house is absolutely stunning. We're coming inside right now and we are gonna show you what you're about to fall in love with. Let's go. Hey, so we just finished this video shoot and now I am off to drop these guys off, head to a basketball game for my son, and then back to work. But here's the thing, we just finished this video shoot and it was smooth, simple, easy, really. But it's because we know what we're doing. It goes back to systems. Listen, if you're a real estate agent and you're sitting back and you're thinking, look, I gotta figure out how to elevate my game for my clients. I have to figure out, you know, what it takes for me to really move things in a direction to where I'm not second guessing or overthinking things every time I've got another client, another task, another project. I keep saying it, but it's systems. So think about this. Whenever something happens in our business, we have a system to immediately activate, right? Just activate that system and then bam, we can smooth through whatever's happening, whether it's good, bad, in between. You've gotta have that. As we go into the fourth quarter of the year, my thought for you is this. Real estate agents, I'm talking to you. My thought is this, revamp your business. We are in a unique place at the Gerdes team where we don't need to revamp our business right now. We've spent three years doing just that. We've spent at the end of every year looking at our entire business and saying, what do we need to completely shift, adjust, change? And we are excitingly no longer in that space because we've taken the time to do it consistently and now when we run through the end of 2020 we'll be looking at our year yes we'll say to ourselves what happened this year that could be a little better what happened this year that we could tweak but it's not a full restructuring and that's because the systems that we've put in place that we've touched and tweaked over and over again they work so that's it Ask yourself what you're doing in quarter four. Ask yourself where you're going in quarter four and how in the world are you prepping for 2021? That's what you're gonna hear me talking about because if you know me, you know that 2021 for me starts in October. Here we go, ready, set, go.